out on the screen that we dedicate this service today to a young man that was a part of my life. First half of his life. None other than Larry Post.
somebody was in conjunction with all the prayers. But whoever you are, just keep on praying and praying and praying. And a good, and, and I like to say that it's just really good to be here at, at 4240 Main Avenue North, but we're streamlining out here. Uh, First Baptist Church Kingston is, is, is a church that took some bumps in the road going along the way. I'd be scared to go into a church who ain't never been through nothing because I know that the worst is on its way because wherever there's good, evil is always present. I'd like to say good evening and good morning to all of you all out there who are streaming in out here. Uh, I am the Mara, I'm Mara Lumpkin and uh, the pastor is the T in Miller out here at 4240 Ninth Avenue North. And no matter what was going on, no matter how bad I felt, how many of y'all know your calling ain't got nothing to do with your feelings? Oh because I kept on streamlining on Wednesday night. You know, when I had to hear to get up and do it, you got to get up and do it because these people was out here tuning in. And I had a first, I had a little spoonful of what you went through. Just a little spoon. It wasn't a big spoonful. But it was a little spoonful when you got to pull yourself up the other way. When you know that it ain't all about you. And you had to, that just like Jesus when he was going through the agony and the pain on the, on the cross. And he recognized it wasn't all about him. Going through the agony and the pain. Because I figured if I was up there in two thieves, one was on the left and one was on the right. Man, leave me alone. I'm already going to another. But Jesus didn't do it. Jesus said, hold up. Somebody said he stopped dying. That just how precious one more life is to Jesus. Let us, let us love y'all, not just in worry, but let us love and needs also. Love is the ingredient. Love is the key ingredient to living with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Our scriptural reading will be coming from the book of John, the gospel according to John. Uh, the first chapter, the first through the seventh verse. I'd like to say hello to our uh, superintendent, Sunday school superintendent, Cheryl Thomas. Beautiful job that she did this morning. You can catch her at 9 30 on Sunday morning, also. So that's when I say it just ain't no reason for you to be acting the way that you're acting because of this pandemic. People to stop giving their tithes and offering to stop bringing it to the house of the Lord. But let me tell you something. We are up under a test. We are up under God is testing us. If you are sad, you are sad puppy as long as you can just give at church. That makes you think that you just want to be seen when you get up and give. But you ought to be able to give at home. You ought to be able to send your tithes and offering because the church got to go on. Somebody got to take care of the church. And the real saints are going to take care of God's church. And I'm talking to you all out there streamlined too. Don't let this Christmas fool you when you got to go out there and spend God money. Because let me tell you something, he can do more with the ten than you can do with the nine. You know, he want our obedience. I don't want to sound like I'm fussing him, but he want our obedience. Valerie and I, we have really buckled down on what we do for the Lord and the, the, the communion and that. We have really buckled down because we know that in for a test. That's a shame. You know, pandemic. Shut your love down for God. God said, don't let nothing and nobody separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. You just got to be faithful unto the end. And if you got God money out there in your in, in, in your pocket, and, and you out here running around spinning it here, spinning that with it, and, and the Holy Spirit told you what to do with that money. The Holy Spirit told you what you know what you're supposed to be doing. Now, if you think you're in trouble, you wait till after Christmas. You go spend your money, but you wait till after Christmas. And see, y'all see what's going on in Washington? They talk about shaving government down and everything else, too. But God will sustain his people if you just do what God asks you to do. And I'm going to live it with it. I guess I ain't fussing what I'm going on. Uh, or chapter John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him, 
It took God for you to believe. God has caused our heart to believe. And if you don't think that's something, look out there at all of them who don't believe. We are precious. We are precious. And thank God that you is a believer. And before I leave him, don't be caught dead without Jesus. Amen. Amen. God keep you. God bless you. I love you.
God for my trials. That's right. I say, I thank him for my trials. I thank him for my ups as well as my downs. Or if I didn't have any promise, I would not thank you for something. In the midst of these days, people are going up. And what people are doing, that scene is being
You're not guaranteed to stay in all ways. Okay. The Bible says it is appointed once a man to die and after death the judgment. So, so we got to leave here one day. Amen. Yeah. Uh, aging is not a factor. Yeah. Because there are some go younger and some go older. Amen. But you're going to leave here. Amen. And I, 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 this message today, I want to key in on some things because I think sometimes we take it for granted uh, uh, ourselves that, that, that we are better than other folks. Oh, yeah. and, uh, uh, we, 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 we get to a point in life that we look down on other people. But all of us, all of us need to examine ourselves because we, we, we know better than anybody else. Because I have nothing to brag about. But it's by the grace of God that I am who I am. Do I have a witness right there? He said, I, I have nothing to brag about. Is by the grace of God. And that, that, that word grace means that is He giving us something that we really don't deserve. I'm going to say that again. He giving you something that you really don't deserve. Because the Bible said, while we were yet sinners. And that means right now. We are saved by the grace. So we don't have anything to be boasting about in ourselves. So let us look at ourselves. Let's pray. God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your presence this morning. That you are here in, in the Spirit. Thank you for these brothers who have come. We pray for Jennifer now who is out because of the COVID. Thank you for the time she still spends with us. We pray for all three families. Bless the word. Let the words of our mouth. The meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Again, I want to ask those of you that will help support uh, the financial situation for our brother Larry, uh, that you will give this morning as when his services is over with, that you will give. We will be very appreciative because we want to put him away. And thank God for it. Go with me to the book of Ephesians. Paul's writing to the church at Ephesus. Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the 31st verse and the 32nd. Ephesians, fourth chapter, 31 and 32. Paul says to these Christians at Ephesus, he said, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Let's say that again. Let all bitterness. Yes, Lord, some of y'all been carrying some stuff on your show so long. You just, <laughs> and wrath and anger and travel and evil speaking be put away from you with all knowledge. Yes. Listen at 32. And be ye kind one to another, tender heart, forgiving one another, yeah. even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven who? You. Has forgiven who? You. Amen. You may take your seat. I want to talk for just a few moments from these words. Take time for us. Take time for us. Many of you who have been under this ministry for the years I've been here, one of the things I have said in 11 o'clock services and in funerals, and I will say it this morning before I go any depth into this message, and that is, be careful of the hand that you hold. For you never know who hand you will fall in. Let me say that again. Be careful of the hand that you hold. Because you never know 
who hand you will fall in. Amen. Amen. I went on to say the hand you're holding might have to feed you one day. I went on to say the hand you're holding might have to clean you one day. Then I went on to say, Jada, don't ever say it won't happen. Because God got a way of the people you pass by. Going up, you beat them coming back down. Can I get a witness in here? So what I'm saying in this message, first of all, you need to take time for others. Many of us are hung up on three people. And I want to say these three people now. Their name is me, myself, and I. Which means that everything is surrounded about me. Well now, let me say that Jesus said, you got to first of all, deny yourself. Don't get hung up on yourself. Because I don't care how much you have, how much you have accomplished, how much you got, you cannot take it with you. Take time for us. You may, you may keep these in your mind. I want all of you to open your mouth because I'm going to give you some pointers. First of all, in taking time for others, you are to be considerate of others. I said you ought to be considerate of us. Me, you know, you, you know, you know, we are good and these I'm talking about. We, Paul was talking to Christians at this time. So I'm talking to Christians too. We're so good and hung up on just ourselves. But you need to, if I can help somebody. As I pass along. If I can cheer somebody with a word or something. If I can let that person know when he is doing wrong, then my living will not be in vain. Cooperative. Considerate. You know, you know, you know, when people are going through, the first thing we have, well, that's their problem. Not matter. You ever heard that before? Well, let me help you today. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm screaming to tell you. I might be having mine today. And please don't glorify all for my downfall. I wish I had a witness in there. I might be having my moment today, but you might glorify all my but before the sun goes down. Your time will come. Anybody ever heard that old cliche that what goes around comes around? Anybody ever seen a boomerang? What you throw out is what come back to. So be, be quiet. Consider it. You know what? You, you know, you, you know, and then when you help somebody, I'm trying to help you for the holiday. When you help somebody, do it and don't talk about it.
understanding that. Even though who you call them might not be saved like you are. But they're still God's child. Are y'all listening to me today? I said they're still God's child. And you cannot look down on anybody because I said it because of the grace of God, you are where you are. Amen. Thirdly, thirdly, be cooperative. Don't walk around and say, well, it ain't none of mine, I ain't going to do it. Uh -huh. You know, y'all good at that. <laughs> The only way it did, and then some of you is you got picks. Boy, am I going to come out? Am I screaming today? If, 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 if it ain't who I like, I'm so glad to see this man come. Because of the mere simple reason, one young man, one young man brought all the and you know what that means? That means that somebody respected that yeah. and somebody loved that. So that means that he was too active. And there are some folks, I don't care what you do, you can't please. Come on now. Yes, my, my, no. Come on, I don't care what you say. They always can find fault in everything you do. And give the same position to them, and they can't do that. Come on, man. And they ain't gonna do nothing. But look, have any of you ever heard of good fellowship? Not fellowship, but fellowship. Fellowship means that you can do more behind the scenes than some folks in front. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I'm talking about taking time for others. When you help somebody, yes, and cooperative when you help somebody, it makes things better. Yeah. You ain't always got to be in front. That's right. That's right. You ain't always got to lead all the time. Fellowship means that you can help somebody else. And when your time comes, Amen. am I preaching here? Yes. If, if you are a good follower and your time comes for you to lead, people will not mind helping you. Yes. But when you always trying to find fault in everybody, let me tell you something, James said, your words can be very destructive too. So, so, so be careful how you Should not perish, mm -hmm. but have everlasting life. Yes. 
The final one is that we ought to be Christ-like. Yes, yes. Lord God. Yes, Lord God. We ought to be Christ-like. What you say, Reverend, that you don't have to walk around like this. Oh, my God. It's something about a child of God. It'll show up in your attitude. I said it'll show up in your gratitude. If I read somewhere, he said, let not make, but let your light so shine before me that they may see your good works and not glorify you, but glorify the Father which is in heaven. Can I get a witness right there? A child of God is somebody. A child of God had no big eyes and little views. A child of God has no respect to person. But a child of God know that God smiles on the just as well as the unjust. Can I get a witness in there? So, so, so when you reach out to help somebody, do it and know for love is what love does. John said for God so loved
Tommy that's screaming here, I'm there with you. Merry Christmas. And God's blessings upon you that He will keep you until we meet again. Next Friday will be Christmas Day. And keep Christ in your life. As I foresee on tomorrow, we will celebrate the life of Larry Posey at Chelsea Hall on First Avenue. You can go by today at 1 o'clock and to review the remains, but if not, you will wait tomorrow. I'm asking that the miracles they will seek you in certain areas in the chapel, and you can sit there. I know I hope the musicians can come. We're going to do an A&B selection. We're going to do a word, and we're going to move on. But thank God for all of you all. I know that they are happy of what we're doing. Brother Blue still had it. If you haven't given anything towards the burial, you can come and do it now. Whether it's 5, 6, or 10, 20, you'll be helpful. Thank you so much. Oh, thank God for that message today. I feel good. You did good. I told you all, I thank God for all of the musicians that God has sent our way. But I take nothing from Bruce Henderson, Reginald, and these guys. They are absolutely inspirational to our service. And I pray of all, I want to publicly apologize. We didn't have, we didn't take up the cost. Normally, I would take up something in 11 o'clock services for two sons to give them. But to the other musicians, I want to say to you guys, I thank you all. I thank you. Now, I may not have nothing to give you, but I can give you my love. I thank you. You know, I love you. I thank God for you. I just thank God for the fellowship and all that you all have done to help make our church services the way it is. Y'all ain't like y'all have never tried service in y'all. You know, like the church is full. And that's a blessing. You know, let me share this with you. There are some churches, there are some churches, are still closed, shut down. Yeah, yeah. They shut down. But, 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 no, we don't have a church full. But those that do come, those that do come, I think Peter James and John said, on, on the mouth of tra transfiguration, Master, it's just good. To be here. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. So I love you guys. I love you guys. And thank you all. Thank you all for supporting me. As you know, Jennifer has the COVID. She has it, but she's going to be okay. She's going to be okay. I want to thank Sean who came in. And, I, and boy, come here, Joe. Come here. That, 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 that's my daddy. That's my daddy. Now, I'm going to ask y'all a question and tell me because you're going to tell me don't lie in church. 